So it's day one at the Eastern Cape Masaseri Foundation distribution. We're out in Bisho at a place called the QQ. We are at a community called Escobeni. Today we're in a new community called Helen Vale. And we are distributing food parcels to every single household in this community. My name is Afi Kassiziba. I'm working for the Department of Social Development in the Buffalo City Metro as the district director. As the Department of Social Development, we are dealing with the most poor and the most vulnerable. And what impressed me with them is how this system works. People are attacked in their homes and then they get to the distribution place where they don't have to queue, where social distancing is upheld, where people are sanitized, where people are tested their temperatures. Well, we're here with Spilele. She's just been tagged at a house and she's gonna receive a food parcel right now. And we're gonna go through the process and we're gonna show you how she gets a food parcel. Let's go. Good day, my friend. I'm Councillor Hermans of Helenville Ward 13 in Port Elizabeth. We want to thank you as the councillor that you did this for us. This is a, a, a beginning stage that what you're doing here, you can in any other place in South Africa, you can just do it because you have shown in a place where more than 8,000 people, you did a wonderful job. There was no trouble, no problems. Everything ran smoothly and we want to thank you. Thank you very much. I am the Provincial Secretary General of NAFCO in the Eastern Cape. It has been wonderful to have this experience of working together with Master Seti Foundation that we got to know through Bid Fest. This is a very strategic partnership that we have ever had in our lives as NAFCO. So what they have done, changed lives of our people in rural communities, is a memorable event. This is something that had never happened before. And they are not doing this only in our province. They are doing it nationally. Here's the chairman, Pastor Bert Pretorius, and the managing director, Blessing Pretorius, of the Mathaseri Foundation. Hi, everybody. I'm here in uh, Helen Vale in Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape, and we're busy uh, distributing food here uh, to, to thousands of people that are in desperate, desperate need. Um, we're so proud of the team that are, are volunteering here, giving their time, their effort the last few days. As you know, we were we were in uh, Bishu last week where we, we fed over 5,000, uh, close to 5,000 households. And we're doing just over 3,000 here in the Helen Vale area. And there's such tremendous need. So here we have, we have some of our, our the boxes of our food. The, the, the Millie Mill is, is down there in that area. So we're really, really um, thankful for everybody involved, all the volunteers, all the sponsors. Thank you so much uh, for what you guys are doing. Now I have with me Pastor Neville Golden. Pastor Neville, you've been in this community for so, so many years. Tell us about this and then tell us about the flight specifically of this Helen Vale community. And you told me that you, you, you stayed here. I stayed here. You know what's wonderful is the fact is if they never see us, they will never be us. And so the plight of this community is about dignity and value being restored. And it's so awesome that the foundation, and especially with uh, Pastor Bert and the team that have come out, you just don't know how much you have restored certain levels of value and dignity of a people who nearly feel they've been forgotten. And this is how God really works in the sense of lifting us up in our storm. Thank you so much to everyone who continues to partner with Mata City Foundation to make a difference within the communities. If you want to partner with us, visit our website at matasedi.org. The feature really beams with hope.